Okay, guys, let's continue to learn about adding three-digit numbers today with regrouping. So our standard says we can add and subtract within 1,000. We can use concrete models, drawings, our standards based on place value, and eventually when we are able to, we can relate the strategy to a written method. All right, so we have problems, three digit plus three digit numbers, or we can have expanded form of problems where we have hundreds plus tens plus an amount of ones that we need to figure out. So here you can have your base 10 blocks for hundreds, tens, and ones. And then if you have 10 or more, we can regroup. Take a group of 10, move them over. We can make this 10 come over, make this ADA 90, and then this is now 2 in there. So our answer would be 692. All right, now today we're still focusing on regrouping in the ones place if we need to regroup. We will move on from there later on in the week. So you need your packet back from yesterday. It looked like this on the front. Flip to your page, lesson 6.3. When do you regroup ones in addition? All right, we were on the part on your own. We did three and four as practice and checked. And then you were supposed to do five, six, seven, eight for us to check today. Number nine, you were supposed to try it, and then you had your math on the spot video to check your work. All right, so let's go over your work today. Make sure you're understanding. All right, we have 628 plus 347. Make it a little bit larger. All right, start in our ones. We always start with our ones column when we add. Eight plus seven is 15. All right, fifteen is one ten and five ones. One ten and five ones. Now we have three numbers to add in our tens column. Let's add the three numbers. One plus two equals. Three, three plus four equals seven. And then we have our hundreds column. Six plus three equals nine. Our answer is nine hundred seventy five. Let's check number six. 235 plus 257. Always start with our ones column. Five plus seven is 12. 12 is one ten and two ones. We have three numbers to add in the tens column now. One plus three equals four. Four plus five is nine. Wow, we're getting close to having to regroup there, guys. And two plus two in the hundreds column. Four. Four hundred ninety-two. All right, let's go up to number seven. I'm going to slide my paper. Five hundred sixty two plus three hundred twenty nine. Add your ones first. Two plus nine. Eleven. Eleven is one ten 
one one. Now add our tens. One plus six is seven. Seven plus two more. Nine. Super close again. And then in our hundreds, five plus three is eight. Eight hundred ninety one. All right, number eight, 147 plus 125. Start with your one, seven plus five, 12, one ten, two ones. We have three numbers to add in our tens. One plus four is five. Five plus two more equals seven. Now look at your hundreds. One plus one equals two. Two hundred seventy-two. All right, today in the private comments, please let me know how well you did on this part. If you had trouble with this part, or if you were able to do this pretty well today. Okay, this will help me know what we need to practice. If we're ready to move on. All right, it says on Thursday there were 326 visitors at the zoo. There were 200 more visitors at the zoo on Friday than on Thursday. How many visitors were at the zoo on both days? So on Thursday, there were how many? 326. All right, on Friday, there were 200 more. So to figure out how many on Friday, we have to add 200 to this number. So 326 plus 200 will tell me how many on Friday. So six plus zero equals six. Two plus zero equals Two, three plus two equals five. Five hundred twenty-six were there on Friday. Now I can add. This is a two-step problem. All right, add your ones first. Six plus six equals twelve. Twelve is one ten, two ones. Now we add our three numbers in the tens place. One plus two equals three plus two more. Five. And then our hundreds place three plus five. Eight. Our answer is 852 visitors. 852 visitors. All right, turn your paper over. Let's do a couple word problems. And it says model it. The gift shop is 140 steps away from the zoo entrance. The train stop is 235 steps away from the gift shop. How many steps is this? Alright guys, how would we find out? 
we need to add. What are our two numbers that we add? 140 plus 235. So let's set it up as a column problem. Make sure you set it up hundreds, tens, and ones. Set it up with me. Okay, let's start with our ones. Zero plus five equals five. Four plus three, seven. And one plus two equals three. What's our answer? 375 steps. Guys, did we have to regroup? Not this time. We don't always have to regroup. And the next one says, Katina's class used 249 noodles to decorate their bulletin board. Gunter's class used 318 noodles. How many noodles did the two classes use? All right, how would we figure this problem out? All right, we want to know how many all together they use. So we're going to add. All right, you could draw your picture, your base 10 blocks. You could use expanded form, or you can just set up a column problem. All right, so if I wanted to set up my base 10 blocks, I could. Two tens, four ones, and nine. All right, that's 249. Three hundreds, one ten. Three hundreds, one ten, eight ones equals 318. All right, I'm going to set up my column problem right beside it because some people would choose to do that. Some people can do that a little more quickly. All right, we always start with our ones. Nine plus eight equals 17. So here we have nine. We're going to take one and move it up to make a group of 10. So that leaves seven. All of these are going over to make a group of 10. Now, here's my group of 10. One plus four equals five. Five plus one equals six. Let's check our work. One, two, three, four, five, six. Are we right? Yes, we are. And then in the hundreds place, two plus three equals five. And we have one, two, three, four, five. Five hundred sixty-seven. So how many noodles? Five hundred sixty-seven noodles. So either way you work the problem, you would still get the same answer. Okay, turn the page. 
you have make it come up three digit edition regrouping the ones practice and homework page all right, I want you to complete one, two, three, and four. Pause the video. Complete those when you're ready. Press play. We're going to check those together. All right, guys, let's go over them together. Let me get a different color pen. Let's see if this one works. Yeah. All right, number one, 148 plus 234, 8 plus 4, 12, 110, and two ones. 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8. And then your hundreds place. One plus two is three. Your answer should be 382. And on number two, 321 plus 318. You start in your ones column. One plus eight is nine. No regrouping. Two plus one is three. And three plus three is six. Six hundred thirty-nine. Number three. Four hundred fourteen plus one hundred seventy-nine. Four plus nine is thirteen. One plus one is two. 2 plus 7 is 9. Go to your hundreds. 4 plus 1 is 5. 593. All right. 602 plus 258, ones column, 2 plus 8 is 10, 110, 0 ones, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 5 is 6, and then to your hundreds, 6 plus 2 is Eight. Eight hundred sixty. All right, when you're ready, you can turn it over. We're ready to do the review on the back now. All right. Sorry, guys, mine's getting caught. Got to get it where I can see it. All right, number one, let's do it together. 435 plus 146, 5 plus 6, guys. 11, 11 is 110, 1, 1. 1 plus 3 equals what? 4, 4 plus 4. Eight, write your eight in the tens column. Now let's add your hundreds. Four plus one equals what? Five. So what's your answer? Five hundred eighty-one. All right, number two. What is the sum? Four hundred thirty-six plus three hundred six. Start with your one. Six plus six. That's the doubles fact. 12, 110, two ones. One plus three is four. Four plus zero, still four. Write it. All 
All right, four plus three, seven, 742. All right, our spiral review, that means review of what we've already learned. All right, what is the difference? Nine minus four, you can count backwards, or you can say four plus what number equals nine. Using my related facts, four, count on, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five. So what's my answer? Five. If four plus five equals nine, nine minus four equals five. If you have trouble counting back, count on. Adding a two digit number, where do I start? Ones always. Two plus nine. 11, 110, 1, 1. Eight, 1 plus 8 is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. 1 is in the hundreds place, 4 is in the tens place. 141. All right, 26 plus 7, you can count on or you can turn it and make it into a column problem. 6 plus 7. 13. 2 plus 1 is 3. What's your answer? 33. It says add 243 and 132. How many hundreds, tens, and ones are there in all? So first we need to add our two numbers. So let's set up our problem. All right, so let's add three plus two equals five. Four plus three, seven. And two plus one, three. So we're looking at the number 375. So how many hundreds? Three hundreds. How many tens? Seven tens. And how many ones? One one. Uh, five ones. Excuse me. Three hundred seven tens and five ones equals three hundred seventy five. All right. For your independent practice today, in your bag of virtual materials, you have a packet that looks like this. All right, pause the video and go find your packet. Three digit edition with regrouping. And once you have it, put your name on it. All right, today when you open it up, 
You're going to turn over the cover and there is a copy right on the back of the cover. That's the one we're going to be on today. The very first one. All right, at the top, I just labeled it Wednesday 31021. Right, you see the little boy sitting with his iPad. All right, you're going to complete this page for practice. All of the problems except for go down to row one, two, three. I want you to go to row three, problem three, and exit out. You are not ready for that problem yet. I haven't taught you how to do that kind yet. So X that one out. All right, we will get to it this week, but not today. And I don't want you to have trouble with it. The rest of them you should be able to do. All right, we will check this tomorrow in the lesson. I want you to complete it now as practice so you will be ready. All right, and don't forget in the private comments, let me know how you're doing with this. If you think you need extra practice, you're doing well. If you think you need more practice, now let Miss Byers know um, what we need to focus on uh, going forth, okay? You guys let me know, and I'll be glad to help you. Don't forget to do your reflex as well. That'll help you um, answer these uh, questions quickly okay because if you're still having to count on your fingers or draw pictures that's going to take a lot of time as well all right do your best work